Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away. And we're now going to be doing stages 76, 78, 79 and 80 of the Diagostini release of Build Your Own X-Wing. Yes, you heard me right, 76, 78, 79 and 80. Why am I doing issue 77, you may ask? Well, I do have issue uh, 77, look, it's right here. Issue 77, I've got all the parts for it here as well. Uh, but there is a problem, and let me explain. We're going to be doing a lot of electrics in stage 77, so uh, I had to take off all the electrics that we put in, all those plugs in the test that we did the last time we did the X-Wing build, uh, and a few things happened. The first thing is that I pulled some of these out of the circuit board. Now, these are just braces for the plug, so it's not really a big deal. I can just put the plugs directly into the pins that were left. What is a big deal was this whole unit here, which came in issue 70. Now, a couple of things have happened to this. First off, when I pulled it out, as you can see here, I also pulled out the plug ends to it, as you see there, uh, which isn't really such a big deal for me because I do have a spare one that I could solder on here. Uh, but that was one issue I had. But the biggest issue is I've already replaced this motor once, but as you can see, this motor has burnt out. The whole connecting end, as you can see, has basically come off. So there's nothing to solder it to. Um, there's nothing I can do with this part. Now the folks over at Diagostini have been absolutely brilliant. They're actually getting me an issue 70. And we had a great talk on the phone about the problems that peeps are having with issue 71, that the electrics aren't working. And I did tell them you can't test the electrics until issue 74. So uh, hopefully if you're at that stage and you're wondering why aren't my electrics working, it's because you need a lead from issue 74. Uh, but as for me, this whole thing is what's installed in issue 77. But because this is broken, I'm going to wait for the replacement to come through. So issue 77 is going to be after issue 80 on the playlist. So if you wonder where that is, it's going to be after this video uh, when we eventually get it. But uh, there you go. Now, this whole thing you're about to watch was filmed on a live stream for the Patreons yesterday. Uh, and nothing went wrong at all. Nothing at all. It went perfectly to plan. If you don't believe me, check out my Patreon that I've got down here. It's a dollar to join and you've got uh, not just things like this. You've got exclusives, you've got behind the scenes stuff. You've got, there's a plethora of things on there. But uh, yeah, it went, it went really well. <laughs> It was a nightmare. Anyway, <laughs> this is the edited version, so uh, you will see that uh, things went as well as I say. But uh, I really do hope you like this. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So we're going to start with issue 76. And I will go to the instructions first. And if you remember, we did this last time, these rockets here. And we did have a bag full of the tips for those, which I've kept safe. Uh, and all we're going to do is make some more of these rockets or fuel to boosters or proton torpedoes, as they call them. We're going to put them on top of this unit here, put the ends on, and then we're going to close that up. Once we've done that, we're going to put an extension lead into the control board, which I have already done, but I am going to show you where that goes. So this is the pack. It's going to open that up. And we've got all sorts of weird and wonderful things in here. We're not going to need to uh, glue anything. It's just going to be clipped together, which is like what most of this build has been. And as long as we put everything on the same way, we're not going to have an issue. So I'm just going to check that. They're going to go on hmm, this way. Right. Gotcha. So they should look like that with a silver end on one end and a black end on the other. We've got to do that six more times. So here's number two. It's quite deceiving this one, I have to say. <laughs> here's number three. Here's number four. Number five. And finally, number six. So, so far so good, huh? <laughs> Once we've done that, we're going to be using uh, one of these ends to put the tops up. So I'm just going to get all of these warheads up, off, up, in, out. Just going to see what side they go in. They're going to be going onto this silver side here. So that's just going to go into the top looking like that. And once again, we're going to repeat that through all 
six of these. And number five. And finally, number six. Oops, wrong end. That side there. And then these are going to go onto the pegs that we've got here, just lining up the holes. Now I'm just looking. I thought I'm lining up holes. I can't see any holes in these. Let me have a look at that. Ah, oh, the holes are in the ends of these things. Right, I can see them. Okay, so the warhead sides here are going to be going onto this end here. So when we put these on the, uh, what do you call it, the, the guide, the crate here, that'd be the first one. And this will be the second one. Very hard to see because they are they are black. So it's hard to uh, make out where they're actually going. I'm just trying to push one of these on. So it's going to go that way around. So you can see these ends here with the cone shaped bottoms are going to match that side there. And that one's in. So we've got the two M ones in there. And then for the middle ones, I can't put the bottom one in unless these bits are the wrong way round. They must, something ain't right. Yeah, these bits must be the wrong way round here. So I'm going to take that out, spin it round. It has to be the wrong way round. So the way I had it, they're off centred here. So they need to go on to match the ones on top. Just having a look at the image. No, they should go on. There's no reason why they shouldn't. So I'm going to push one and two. There we go. It just needed my uh, magnifying glasses. That's the bottom. Let's do the next one. Very hard to control. It's such a flimsy plastic. But whew, we got there in the end. That looks just like that. Now we're going to close all of that off by putting the top of this cage on making sure we've got it is does it go around a certain way i can't really see that it does i take my glasses off and we'll try and get this in so that everything lines up there we go <laughs> looking like that all good but that's all there is to do that so far regarding the rockets we can put that to one side i want to show you this being the x-wing and what we had to do was unplug point port nine, if you can see in there, which is at this side here. And we've got, we had to attach an extension lead to it. This is the extension lead here. And as you can see, it is labeled number nine. Uh, but once we've got that, we've got to pass this through the bulkhead. Now this is going to be going out of the, uh, this side, the hole that we've got at this side here. So this is the remote control sensor. So you're not going to be having anything working if you don't get the uh, this one right. Put that all the way through, just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Issue 78 now, looking like this. In issue 78, we got more fiddly things to do because we're working on the power generator, which looks like this, which this doesn't look too bad. But when it comes to this side, look at all those pipes we're going to put in. So at the end of it, it does look really impressive. We're going to have that. So to start off with, we've got all of these power converters here and we're going to be putting them all together. But one of them's got smaller pins, it says anyway. Now I've got, ah, oh, that's the one with a smaller pin. So they're going to go in line kind of like that with all the holes facing the same way so this should be easy <laughs> one two the reason i'm laughing is because that's the famous last words normally for me there you go so that's five of them in a row and then with the smaller ends here that's actually just going to go into this section here with the holes facing towards this main unit. So that's gonna go in like that. Which again, takes some force to get that in, but it's up right there. Then we've got the uh, power generator looking like that. And this is gonna go onto this section here with the two lugs going into the holes that we've got at the bottom there. 
so one and two and then push that down into place now i'm just trying to see make sure they are in and they're in the right way we do have a larger hole and a smaller hole so that wouldn't have gone in if that was the wrong way around uh, but now we're going to work on the pipes now they do give instructions of where each pipe goes now as you can see on the sprue here it does number what the pipe is so you'd put it in the number at the top because these do have numbers in the top there and then we put the corresponding numbers to where it tells us to put them on the sides here so this is going to be interesting so i think we'll uh, we'll start at the beginning it, number one is here so i'm going to do number one first so we've got number one there but that's going on to number one which is on the left side second one down right we need to make sure that's pushed all the way down there we go and it's going to go into number one on the power oh perfect look at that we got one right <laughs> it's gone in like that so number two and in the same way we put number two in here and number two is on the other side second one down again again none of these are glued in very very strange bit of this oh god did you see that <laughs> <sighs> get that one in there we go and that's number two in number three number three is going oh god right into this one next to it and then number three is the very top one i know you can't see much at the moment <laughs> that one's in so it's looking like that now number four number four has gone in good as well so number five is going in this way and then number five looking at the picture is the third one down it's pretty easy right next one number six all right that one's gone in we're happy right okay so number seven goes in here going into this hole right so we've got a hole down the bottom there number seven's going so i'll get that in like that and we just leave that to go around the edge there which means we do exactly the same for number eight i'm believing this is hard get that in there then rotate it round and put that in number eight yes ah popped out that, that looks more like it that's number eight in so number nine well look you get the idea but that's all of those in now we've got two more which are 11 and 12 uh number 11 is going from this hole that we've got just there into the very bottom power generator here and then the other side that's now got a hole to put it in so that's got in like that and there we go look they're all in and that i believe is it that's that stage complete <laughs> that was hard in issue 79 we're doing the uh, hyperdrive cooling system which looks a lot easier we're just putting some things together famous last words looking like that looking like that oh look these these leads that i was trying to poke through the hole actually just go above it so it doesn't make a difference so it's all going to look like that now can we get through issue 79 in 15 minutes hopefully we can so the first thing we need is take the cooling system mount which is this and that is going to go on top of this section here going to go this way around here with these points pointing towards the back and i'm just going to push that in see that's gone in fine so far so good then we're going to be taking the uh two halves of the transfer chamber so that's what the transfer chamber looks like there so that's one half this is going to be the second half over here and get those together just going to see if it is directional yeah it can only go in one way so that's going to go in like that that's the transfer chamber now this is going to go into the d-shaped hole 
that we saw down the bottom there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this in and obviously it's gonna make these things pop out, I'm guessing, because they're gonna go into the side there. I can see where they're gonna go in it. So I've pushed that in and even though it hasn't told me to do it yet, I'm gonna do it now and I'm gonna get this pipe into the side here. Stand by. which of course doesn't want to go in. There we go, that's one side in. And then we'll get the other side pipe just into the hole in the other side here. Perfect. So they look like that. That's looking a lot better now, I'm happy with that. Take two halves of the right heat exchanger. So these are what the heat exchangers look like. We got one. And we've got two and they have a pipe on them now one says a1 a2 actually they're both exactly the same you've got a1s and a2s though put the pipe in try that again put the pipe in put the top on and squeeze it together yay <laughs> that's one done let's do the other one just while we've got everything together so again pipe in put it all together and there we go that's the other heat exchanger completed so the first one is going onto this section here just figuring this out and it's going to go into the side of this piece that we put in just like that the second one mirroring that on the other side in this way all the way down into the other side of that section there like that and there we go that's those two in stock no problems at all we've got some connecting pipes to put in that's these two pipes here they're going to go into the middle channel and then into the wall I'm just seeing what way around this goes we got one in let's do the other one perseverance you see right <laughs> the other one into the hole on the back there perfect yay that's the second one in like that we're almost there line up the top vent there's two slots got one massive slot there and one in the engine there that's for the bottom one that's for the side so theoretically if i put that in like that and then push that down there we go that fits in perfect like that uh, take the four parts of the hyperdrive jet mount. So we're going to be putting these bits together now. So as you can see, we've got a semicircular hole going into these sections here. Push that together and we do the same on the other side. Semicircular hole. And push them together. And then we don't do anything else. I'm guessing we've got something to go on the top. But that, believe it or not, is issue 79 complete. So the last one we've got is stage 80. I'll just turn to the back. And as you can see, we've got some hyperdrive jets that we're gonna be putting in. A little bit of metal frame here as well. So we're gonna be putting the jets together, uh, putting these all onto one unit, and then we're just gonna keep them uh, together like this. We're not actually doing anything with the frames. So we need to keep the frames safe uh, in a safe place. So these jets are on sprues, as you can see here. So I need to cut all of these off. And all we're gonna be doing is taking the ends with the holes and the ends with the lugs. And we're just gonna be piecing all of those together. Like that. We're gonna repeat that for the other four. Now these are gonna go onto the mounts that we made in the last stage. And they're gonna be actually going straight down from 12 to six. So we've got two in this side. Just push them all the way in so they look like that do the same on the other one one and two so they're in and then the last thing i'm going to do is cap them off with these tops here as you can see we've got some little lugs in there I'm just going to push them into the top that'll straighten everything up make sure all the pins are matching and then push that down 
and there we go that looks like that pretty impressive huh do the same on the other one so it's nice and straight and fitting flush in there and then with these and the frames here that we're not actually doing anything with this time there should be one two three four five six pieces of frames i'm going to save that till next time that's all there is to do in that stage so the thing that didn't happen on the live stream was uh, issue 80. We didn't actually get time to do issue 80, so I've done that just now. But uh, yeah, there was no problems in that build whatsoever, and uh, it went to plan and there was no problems. <laughs> if you don't believe me, uh, go over to my Patreon. I'll put a link down here for my Patreon, and you can see how much of a, a problem we didn't have on this build. <laughs> anyway this is this was quite an enjoyable issue i have to say with all the frustrations of it but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care